How dare you! All right. Seems okay. You again! I don't like that delay. I don't like that delay at all. It messes with my brain. There's supposed to be immediate, immediate, immediate. Go, go, go. Dang it. I didn't want to jump back. I'm too scared of this level. Things aren't functioning the way I think they should. That scares me. Please. I'd like more lives for my failures. I swear. I swear that I'm not this bad. But for whatever reason, I am today. Didn't jump. I don't like the jump arcs when it comes to certain things. The jump box mess with me ever so slightly. I could try it again, but I don't want to. This game, man, is messing with my brain, and I swear, it has to be me. At the same time, I don't want it to be me. What? Aqua, Aqua, what are you doing there? And now I don't think I can go back. Oh, you can! That's kind of cool. I'm gonna get that Aqua Aqua Math because I think I'm gonna need it. At the same time, the things that have been killing me have been stupidity and weird things that might be intentional, but I don't want them to be because that means that everything is weird. Perspective haunts me. Rotobega indeed, my friend. You are my friend, right? But I don't think I've heard you actually say anything. No! Damn it. <laughs> Went through all that to get Aku Aku, only to be met with abject failure. I'm only, I would say, halfway to the second boss, and I am suffering because of my own stupidity. And also the weirdness in this game, I think, shouldn't be as weird this game is messing with my brain. I did that again. Screw the boxes. Screw the mangoes. I just want the pain to be over. Not currently. I'm not going for 100% yet, but I may later as like a 100% streams. But so far, I don't like the physics. The physics are weirding me out, man. Just acting weird. Just ever so slightly. Hopefully, like, at the very least, though, the one thing that, uh, this isn't a bad port, though, is it? No, not port. But this isn't a bad game, even compared, like, to the original. I played the original. I feel like the original might be slightly better conceived over... Oh, please don't spike me. Ah, damn it. But I, it's fun. And sometimes it feels like, oh, you just got to get used to it. I don't know. It's still fun. It's something that hasn't been done in the modern age in a long time, so it's cool to have. It looks nice. Plays just nice enough. Honestly, the one that I really, really hope, though, I really hope that the Spyro, Spyro Trilogy is better. Ah, crap. I'm run, run, run back. I will read that comment in a moment. Rabada. From the dead, oh, potatoes inside. Sarg! Dang it. Yeah, like I already slid off one of the pillars. Dang it. And also, I think one of the. Uh, one of the things I saw was that this game doesn't have a basic mechanic in platformers where you uh, have a bit of leeway on your jumps, so. Like, if you take a step off of a ledge, you will have a bit of leeway of that. So you can still jump a moment after you jump off of a ledge. Which makes one of the parts in this game, like one of the bridge levels, a pain, oh, a pain, oh, no. 
The level ain't over yet. That was another checkpoint. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ah, crap. Well, double crap. How am I supposed to know there's a secondary fire thingy right after? When I'm supposed to commit to a jump. I can take Gaga. Dang it. This game is haunting me. Rabada. Whoop. Please! I want. Oh, that's nice. More health for everybody. Wabadoo, wabadoo. But yeah, it's like it's one of these games. Ah, oh, god, god. Feed me, Seymour. Stupid monkey. Make me look bad. Everything's making me look bad. <laughs> Remember, there is. <laughs> Dang it! At least it's not one like uh, God of War. It's just like here's an a here's a trophy because we put a bad section in. Like God of War one. <laughs> dang it! I did it again! God dang it! I just feel like he should have more momentum, but he never does. But uh, this isn't a Dark Souls of platformers, mainly because a lot of the uh, failure, a lot of the failures, I feel, are derived less from your own failings and more from quirks. Like, that's not to say, like, it's all bad, like, you could learn it pretty well, but, yeah. No, 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 no. Damn it. Go to bed again, indeed. The physics... The way you slide, the momentum, it all hurts me. It all hurts me, man. Ah, dang it. It stole my momentum, I swear. Damn you. Damn you, bearded tree man. At the very least, like, uh, I think this is mainly because Crash is a little bit more complex than you might think overall. Wow. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's like, that's one uh, thing about, like, uh, remakes like this. They're remakes of really old games, so they don't really have anything from the original to work with overall. So they have to do it from scratch, so little nuanced things might go amiss. Might not be... As noticeable when you play, like, just from a normal standpoint, it's just like if you play a... It's kind of like a... It's kind of like trying to uh, review good comedy. Reviewing comedy, especially good comedy, is difficult mainly because you have to explain why a joke works. So, when it comes to good video games, the small things will slip on by. Because they're small, inconsequential things until they're not there. It's the little things that make or break sometimes. Time for the weirdness here. How dare you! I hate that guy. He's so glitchy. That's why I hope that these, I think that the Spyro remakes might be better. Purely because Spyro is simpler overall. Like the way that it functions and everything is a bit harder to mess up, I think, because most of it is kept pretty simple, at least in the first game. And so long as the 
simplicity overall keeps kind of going, because it's been a while since I've played the other two games. <laughs> no! Afro Shield Man, no! But that makes me wonder, should I play the... Oh, crap. Uh, I fear these jumps. The jumps haunt me. But it kind of makes me wonder if I should play the other PlayStation 1 Spyros before, like, on stream and record them and stuff before, um... Uh, meh, meh, the trilogy comes out. Or if I should save my, uh... Reaction... For the trilogy to really understand and be surprised by things and just... Damn it. Everything. Yeah, and honestly, if anything, they can, uh, the only problems I had with the original Spyro are little things. Like how they don't explain... Uh, what the- ah! He booty bumped me! How dare you? But, like, the only part that I really had trouble with in the original Spyro was with the, uh, supercharges. Which is only a problem because they never explain that some of the supercharges can only be done if you go down two ramps. So, it, it's definitely going to be harder to ruin things. But yeah, one thing that I really want to do is play, because I have all but one of the, like, old school Spyro games. I have all of the original Spyro uh, PlayStation 1 games. I should have all of the uh, Spyro-ish, but not really, games from, uh, like, the GameCube and PlayStation 1 eras. But I'm only missing the last Legend of Spyro game because the last Legend of Spyro game came out on literally everything, and I want to get the PlayStation 3 version, which still costs $60 to this day. Used. And, uh, so, like, that's like, uh, especially compared to, like, some of the other, like, expenses, because I just, like, bought the, uh, Far Cry compilation. Damn you, Billy Bones. But I just bought the, uh, Far Cry compilation, uh, yesterday, which has Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3, and Far Cry Blood Dragon all on PlayStation 3. And some people might be like, why didn't you get it on PC? Because I, like, I want to limit how many PC games that I stream and play at the same time because, or stream and record at the same time, because PC games are weird. PC games are weird. Overwatch uses less CPU than the Bioshock Remaster, so that's definitely a record-only or stream-only game. And I, I'll probably lean toward stream, uh, stream then VOD export. I only played the first one, and so far, damn you, Mr. Feed me, go away! He bumped me onto the fire pyre. Rude of beg a butt. But I only ever played the first Legend of Spyro game, and I, I, well, I, I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. I liked the characterization of the new world, and I, I, and I respected the fact that they didn't try to go for Spyro again, but slightly different, like the other ones that tried and failed to recapture what made Spyro Spyro, but they weren't Insomniac. Yeah. But Legend of Spyro was interesting and had interesting lore and plus it had Elijah What? Damn it. I want to go fast. But the game says no. You already make the platform in janky. Why do you have to make me wait so long? So long to go to my death. We're gonna let you go up so you don't catch me on the upswing. But yeah, I'm just really glad that they're doing a Spyro remake trilogy purely because it was really pissing me off how people were like, they don't need to remake Spyro. That's cool. 
Yeah. Like, that's actually funny because some people are like, they don't need to remake Spyro. They have Skylanders. It's like, you're stupid. You're stupid. So stupid. Skylanders is not a Spyro game. Not truly. Sure, the first one said Sky uh, Spyro Skylanders, but it was never a Spyro. Ah, crap. I do not like the timing on that. Personally, that is like, I would say, near to last world. Well, world. Well, this does not bode well. <laughs> Yeah, and then once Spyro no longer became the selling point, they just dropped his name. His top billing was re revoked. Though I do have to say that I kind of like um, the characterization of the animation and comics of Skylanders, like that they give to Cinder and Spyro. I can admire different in, uh, interpretations, but overall, the way they treat him when it comes to game, when the overall game and design. That's where I'm kind of like, eh. I, I've been meaning to check out the Skylanders um, animated series on Netflix, just to check it out, because it seems interesting, and one, now that I've gotten over my, like, abject, just like, why? Why? Why did they have to do this to Spyro? <laughs>